Several National League girls teams punched their tickets to the 2015 National Championships on Saturday as players competed in front of hundreds of college coaches and U.S. soccer scouts in Las Vegas. I think the National League has provided a format that's pretty good. The players are actually playing for something, so it adds a little bit more intensity to the games. Uh, but at the same time, I've been pretty impressed with the level of play. It uh, gives us a good picture of what the player is able, is able to do and uh, there's a pretty good uh, correlation between how they play here and how they'll play in when they get pulled into the national teams. PSG Michigan Gators Orange of Michigan picked up a key 3-0 win over Greater Binghamton United FC of New York West to move into second place in the under-14 blue division. Chloe Woodbeck put Michigan in front in the 32nd minute when she received a pass at the top of the box and tucked her shot inside the right post. The Gators doubled the advantage shortly after halftime thanks to an Ashton Castle strike. Castle added a late insurance goal to wrap up the 3-0 victory. Michigan will play group leader Dallas Kicks SC of North Texas on Sunday with the winner taking the division title. A matchup between the top two teams in the under-14 Red Division saw South Shore Select Elite of Massachusetts jump into first place in the 2-1 win over Cup Gold of Ohio South. Cup, which entered the day alone in first place, grabbed a 15th-minute lead when Becky Dean hit home a loose ball after a set piece. The Massachusetts side managed to build some momentum heading into halftime as Eve Montgomery hit a shot from distance that dipped under the crossbar to level the score 1-1. South Shore took the lead shortly after half thanks to Kira McGuire's 38th minute goal. That proved to be the difference as South Shore picked up three points in the standings. King's Hammer Academy Red of Ohio South missed out on a chance to remain in second place in the under-16 Red Division as it played to a 1-1 draw Saturday against Pride Predators 99 of Colorado. The Ohio side came out with some early pressure and took a second-minute lead when Allie Brown found the back of the net. King's Hammer couldn't manage to score a second goal which proved costly when Alexandria Samuels equalized for Pride in the 73rd minute to force a tie. The King's Hammer draw allowed Beach FC 98 of Cal South to move into second place entering the season's final day. YMS Premier Explosion 98 of Eastern Pennsylvania is headed back to the national championships after getting the point it needed in a 2-2 draw against Arsenal FC Bowers of Cal South. YMS controlled the under-16 blue division matchup in the early minutes, but Arsenal struck first when Emma Vanderheiden netted a ninth-minute goal. The YMS defense and goalkeeper did well to deny Arsenal from adding to its lead before Murphy Agnew found the back of the net to pull YMS level. Maddie Elwell gave the Pennsylvania side a lead shortly after halftime, but Arsenal responded with an Isabella Bowers goal in the 70th minute to seal the 2-2 tie. The point from the draw was enough to help YMS earn at least a second place finish and it can win the division title with a victory on Sunday. A dominant effort on Saturday helped Carlsbad Elite of California South punch its ticket to Nationals by securing a top two finish in the under 17 blue division. The Cal Southside pulled away in the second half to post a 4-0 win over JFC Storm of Florida. Kyle Levesque put Carlsbad in front with a 32nd minute goal, and Pascal Dumasnil added two more just minutes after halftime to extend the advantage to 3-0. In the 57th minute, Haley Main placed her shot around the keeper and inside the left post to cap Carlsbad's 4-0 win. Beach FC Academy 97 of Cal South will get a chance to defend its national championship after it punched its ticket to Tulsa with a 2-0 win Saturday against MRM Coyotes of Maryland. The under-17 Red Division matchup was even for much of the first half, but Caitlin Fergulia lofted a shot that fell inside the far post in the 37th minute to give Beach the 1-0 lead. U.S. Under-20 and Under-18 women's national team midfielder Savannah DeMello 
doubled the beach lead with a strike in the 65th minute, and the Cal South side held out for a shutout victory. The division title will be on the line Sunday when Beach meets in-state foe Legends FC 97 of California South. Beach FC Academy of Cal South captured the under-18 Blue Division Championship thanks to a 4-1 win Saturday against YMS Premier Wildcats of Eastern Pennsylvania. A National League is special and to be a division champion is show that shows that you're one of the elite teams in the country. If you don't play against the best, then you never improve. So in the National League, playing all these teams and all these great players that are going to go off to the next level, it really helps you like develop as, as better as a player. The Cal South side struck twice in the first half, as Kelly Kesloff and Senna Brennan each found the back of the net. Haley Noble extended the beach advantage to 3-0 before YMS pulled a goal back when Rebecca Davey beat the keeper. Beach's Ashley Villalobos put the game out of reach when she slid home her 81st minute attempt to cap the 4-1 win that punched her side's ticket to nationals. You're facing truly the best teams in the country and they're all battle tested. You come in, the quality of the competition is unbelievable. Um, couldn't ask for a better league, uh, you know, to, just to see where we stand and the preparation and, and the games and everything is it's just going to prepare us for the national championship, so it's been an unbelievable experience. Be sure to follow the moments on usyouthsoccer.org.